Okay guys, question one. We are looking at a diagram shows a cross section of a solid prism. The length of the prism is two meters long. So this is actually the cross section of a 3D shape. Uh, I'll do my best to kind of illustrate what we're talking about here. So we've got this kind of 3D shape going on. And we are asked to work out the, the mass of the prism. So we're looking for the mass, and we've been given the density, okay, of this metal, piece of metal, which is 8 grams per centimetre cubed. So what links density mass, it works, not, we're missing something, and that's volume. So hopefully we can remember that density equals, if you think of density equaling a heart, put a line through it, and the top of the heart is an M shape, and the bottom here is like a, a B shape. So density equals mass over volume. Put that into a triangle. So we're quite familiar with these triangles for speed, distance and time. We can also use one for density, mass and volume. We're trying to work out the mass. So if we cover up the mass, we're left with density times volume. So the mass will equal the density times the volume. Well, I've already got the density. The density of the metal is 8 grams per centimetre cubed. So just as times it by the volume. So we need to work out the volume of this prism. So volume of a, um, of a, a prism is the cross section times the length. So the volume is the cross section times the length. The area, sorry, area of the cross section. So area of the cross section. So let's try and work out the area of this front piece here, the cross section bit. So it's like an L shape, and the best way to do it is to make it bro well, break it up into shapes that we can work out. So two rectangles will be a good option here. And a, a rectangle is length times width. So seven times two for this piece is gonna give me fourteen centimeters squared and this piece here the smaller section here now it's not going to be seven long which people tend to make a mistake here it's actually well if this bit's two what's left seven take away two is going to give you five so this bit is actually five times two which equals ten centimeters squared add those areas together and you're going to get so the cross-sectional area is fourteen sorry fourteen plus 10, which is 24, I should say, 24 times the length. Now the length is two meters, and all of my measurements are in centimeters, and also my um, density was in, in centimeters. So I, there's a clue, I've got to change that length into centimeters. So two meters is equal to 200 centimeters, because uh, 100 centimetres are in a metre, so the length is 200, so I've got to do 24 times 200, which is going to give me the uh, overall volume of the shape, so 24 times 2 is 48, add on the two zeros, and there's the volume, 4,800 centimetres cubed, put that in, that's our volume, centimeters cubed and then we can work out the mass so eight lots of that is going to be 38,400 well what's the units for our mass but if you look at the, um, the density it says grams per centimeter cubed so our mass would be in grams 